the most common question people give is, what can you eat? Because you can't eat anything. You you like can't eat anything. Everyone's gonna tell you that. But one, get that idea out of your head because you can eat a whole ton of really good food. And honestly, almost anything you are used to eating, you can kind of eat. You just have to figure out how to do it. So, anyways, and there's more and more great products coming out. So if you're a junk food junkie like me, I peruse the health food stores and I'm all the time looking for those super delicious yummy foods that are super exciting, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I actually just happen to have just in my house, um, just ready to go. So this is just what I had in my freezer, some of the stuff from my fridge and some of my stuff from my cupboard. So this is just, I didn't go shopping, this is what I have. Okay, so that does not look just like fruits and veggies. I actually have most of my fruits and veggies in the fridge because we can kind of go on, you can eat fruits and veggies. Okay, so here I have some pumpkin um, bread that I made. Here I have some zucchini bread I made. And here are these little egg frittatas. They're like in little, I make in cupcakes, um, little crustless quiches, so those are great. And this is some, some individually wrapped banana bread ready to go, almond butter, and I just make sure I get cut with no sugar, honey, maple syrup, tuna, Kite Hill cream cheese, chocolate. It's 92%, so it's close enough. Um, pancakes and waffles. I think I would actually like the pancake mix made in a waffle maker instead of <coughs> the frozen waffle. But, you know, in a pinch, it'll work. And this is, I, you know, I get coconut oil. And that's what I use for almost all my baking. These are like these little calzone um, things that I have left over, that I had those prepared. So I just need to he grab one and heat it up. And let's see, what do I have here? Oh, this is um, hamburger, cabbage, um, casserole. This is, oh, my um, tomato-less um, spaghetti sauce. This is my chicken coconut curry, yum, yum, yum. So these are just foods I had in my freezer. Um, tortilla chips, grainless pre pretzels, eggs, um, beef jerky, um, Dairy-free cheese. Uh, most you have to be careful what kinds of dairy-free cheese, but this is a really good one and I like it. Um, oh, I like artichokes because they fancify a lot of things. Some cauliflower, cauliflower rice and some carrots. It's just nice sometimes to ha have some frozen ones. Um, and then I have chicken and then I have um, ground turkey. I love these almond crackers. And then I have some like fr frozen fruit, so I have stuff for a smoothie. So you, as you can see, this there's definitely more here than just fruits and vegetables. And you know, I have I do have in my cupboard, I have like some oranges and I have some apples and I have a sweet potato, which I almost always have. And I have onions and garlic and um, I'm trying to think, carrots, of course. Um, I have, you know, and this is me where it's a bit a week into it. I have, you know, I shopped a week ago. So, um, and I always have on hand like almond flour, cassava flour, tapioca flour, um, coconut flour, and of course, olive oil, um, and you know, your basic seasonings. And I often buy some fresh herbs and in the summer I grow fresh herbs um, so um, if you're able to I recommend it because fresh herb I find since I've gone to eating more paleo I tend to cook more with fresh herbs I don't know why that is and my sister seems to have done the same thing the one who eats similar to me so um, I don't know oh let me show you what I'm having for dinner tonight and you know it's just like what you have some tomato-less um, chili so it's um, made with pumpkin and 
ground turkey, some carrots, some sweet potatoes, some onions, some garlic, and some zucchini, and some cumin and turmeric. Surprisingly, it really does taste actually similar to chili. So I wanted to just clarify one, one thing real quick. You know, I have all these delicious banana bread and zucchini bread and all these great breads that you see me cooking and the cookies I make and all these wonderful desserts and cakes and, and stuff that I brag about. Yes, I eat a lot of delicious baked goods. I fantasize sometimes about opening a bakery because seriously, I um, think I spend a lot of time thinking about baked goods. You know, maybe a, like a crazy amount of time thinking about baked goods, um, but it's healthy baked goods I eat now. So I, you know, I, I may be the paleo junk food junkie now instead of the um, regular junk food junkie. Um, but yeah, I'm digging it and. Um, you definitely want, the more you do it, the more you will just love the food you're eating. I um, really, really encourage you. Take the plunge, jo join my club. Woo, woo, woo.